Hi guys, uh, my name is Christine Mitchell Mann. I've been really sick all week, so pardon my puffy face. <laughs> um, I'm better today anyways. Um, I'm one of the admins on Fibro Buddies on Guaifenesin Protocol. And I'm just going to go over some information on what is hypoglycemia or carbon tolerance and who should be dealing with it, who should be looking at it, who should go on the diet, and some tips on getting started and how to do that. Um, hang on a second. <laughs> Sorry about the close-up. Um, so, to get started on this, if you have just begun to learn about the Guaifenesin protocol, um, don't worry about this. This is something that I think that you do after you figure out your clearing dose. Um, the Guaifenesin protocol has a lot of stuff you've got to learn, a lot of new information and vocabulary to process in your little brain. So do yourself a favor, don't worry about this until you've been on the protocol for a few months and you've got a grasp on um, how the guaifenesin works and salicylates. Um, so if you are past that point and you are wondering about what we talk, why we talk about it so much, this is why. Um, in the book on chapter 6, it's page 104. This is the book. And you need to take a look at this because hypoglycemia and carbon tolerance are common in people with fibromyalgia because the symptoms overlap. Um, so what you are looking for, you don't have to have the severe case of hypoglycemia to benefit from doing the hypoglycemia and carbon tolerant diet. Um, the things that it made a difference for me on is the fatigue and insomnia, depression, irritability. I would just have these random days where I was so irritable and there was no good reason for it. Um, dizziness. Um, of course, the irritable bowel syndrome symptoms are definitely, for me, part of hypoglycemia. Um, the flushing and night sweats. Oh, it got so bad. Um, and then, of course, the impaired memory and concentration. Now, if you are someone that really needs this diet, you're going to have much more severe symptoms like heart palpitations, fainting, stuff like that. If that's you, don't wait. Do the stinking diet. Uh, if you need it, this will make such a humongous difference on how you feel day to day that it is just so worth it. And it it actually happens really quickly. So you're going to feel worse for like a week or two as your body adjusts to not living on sugar. But then once you do settle into it, 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 it is remarkable the difference it makes. So um, it takes a full two months. Uh, according to Dr. St. Amand, it can take a full two months for your body to heal of some of the damage done by the amount of sugar and carbs that you've been eating. So um, you have to stick to it religiously for two months. Do not cheat. And sometimes, like I've been on the diet for years because it just, every time I go off of it for too long, I know I need it. And so I go back on. Um, but for me, if I overdo it, like at Christmas time and stuff, um, it's kind of one of those things that once you start, it's really hard to stop. So I do really good until, I don't know, the 26th of December, and then it just kind of gets worse and worse, and, and then I usually have to go back on the strict diet and stick to it for a few weeks, and then I feel like way better daily. So um, something to... Oh yes, so here's something that's going to help you that I did because um, I have fibromyalgia and I forget things. So sometimes I'll be wondering um, about a new recipe and I want to um, see if I can have it. And so I have it right in my cupboard. Oh, no, not that one. This cupboard. All right, right there. Strict diet, liberal diet. 
This way, I can take a look at a moment's notice. It's right there. I can check to see um, if what I'm thinking of making or about to make <laughs> is okay for the diet. Um, and then I can kind of gauge it too. Like sometimes I'll totally cheat and I'll do something like make gravy with regular flour because it just tastes so good. But then I go strict for a couple days and it doesn't bother me at all. But if you're just starting the diet, don't cheat like that. Stick to it, 110%. Um, it, it's very, very worth it. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you is that we have a group on Facebook for the hypoglycemia diet. Um, now here, this is our Fibro Buddies on Guaifenesin Protocol group. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And if you will see... There's this recommended by the admins. Um, this right here, this is a group that I recommend. And so you just click on it. It's Fibro Buddies Hypoglycemia. And right at the top of the group in the pinned post, we have the diet foods. See? Pinned post. Right there. Pinned post. The diet foods. Click on it and it'll show you um, all the things you can and cannot have written down easy peasy for you so you can check at a moment's notice. It's all there. Um, the things you need to strictly avoid and never have again um, if you have any kind of diet issues. I also have on my website, hang on a second here, I have a bunch of recipes that will help you as well as well as um, a meal plan. So there it is, hypoglycemia. I explain it in my own words. The meal plan and the HG strict meal plan. So my the first meal plan that I made, these are for a week. And this one here is um, a little bit more half strict, half lib. So if you're just starting the diet, this is always my suggestion, is for the first week or two while your body's adjusting, <clears throat> don't go too crazy on going strict and just cutting out too much food because what will happen is you will end up starving. So, And this is a bad thing for people with hypoglycemia because then your blood sugars drop and then they, of course, spike and drop and spike and drop. And this is very bad for people with hypoglycemia. So um, you need to make sure that you get enough food, especially those first few weeks when your body's adjusting to this change. So there, um, oh, on, on each day here, I give you the recipe link for each meal. So this breakfast shake, there's the link to it. Lunch at 12, veggie souffle explains it, gives you the link, everything, all the way down, snacks for your day. Okay, so that's that's my suggestion for your first week. Um, if you need to be um, strict to lose weight, then I would suggest to do it after that first week or two at the regular HG meal plan. For me, what I did was I cut out um, the breads and the basic carbs like oatmeal, but I still included things like all the vegetables and a couple fruits. Um, not as many, like I do a half an apple or something instead of a whole apple. So here's the recipes um, for me. These are my recipes. Of course, you're going to find a ton more recipes on Pinterest and different places like that. Um, but there you go. We've got breakfast, main dishes, desserts, side dishes, sauce, condiments, snacks, cleaning, drinks, I mean, there's I, there's just a ton of stuff. I've been doing this for a long time. Um, but anyways, that, oh yes, also, there is a another person who has spent a lot of time um, making a book and a website. Her name is Chant Chantal Hoey Sanders. Um, I'll put her name in the explanation to this video. Um, but she has a website that um, got me started on the diet. I had to, of course, change everything and tweak everything so that the recipes were more to my liking because everybody has a different taste. So um, just know that it's not the end of all of your favorite foods. I pretty much can substitute everything straight across. 
Um, I use riced cauliflower for rice. I steam cauliflower and use that for potatoes. I use um, zucchini that I spiralize with a spiralizer to make spaghetti noodles. Um, those kinds of things, I make zucchini lasagna instead of pasta noodle lasagnas. So just, just don't freak out. You can do this. There's just a lot of substitutions that you're going to have to get used to, and you will. So um, make use of these tools that we've given you, and good luck with it. Don't forget to read the chapter in the book. Dr. St. Demand has a lot of really good, helpful stuff in there. Okay, and have a good night, and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.